Once you have finished editing your video project, you will hit done, and then it's time to export. Here you can rename your project, whatever you need it to be named, and down at the bottom you will see three buttons. One of them is just gonna let you play the video all the way through. The trash can is obviously going to delete it. You are looking for the share button right in the middle. So you're gonna tap that share button, and then you're gonna choose save video. Yes, there are options up at the top. It's not recommended that you send directly to an app. You wanna get this into your camera roll to give you the most flexibility and to make sure that the export works properly. So we're gonna choose save video. It's gonna go through the exporting movie process. Depending on how long your movie is, it may take longer than a shorter movie. So it's important to just let this process happen. Don't quit out of the app. If you have you know, a five to seven minute movie, that's gonna take a little bit of time to export. So make sure you have enough battery in your iPad and enough time to allow that to export. Once the video has been saved to your Photos app, then it's time to submit it. There's going to be a couple of different ways you can do this. First, if the video is under 512 megabytes, short enough, usually two to three minutes, you can submit to Schoology directly, if that's what your teacher wants you to do. You find your project, file, your assignment, you go to submissions, hit the blue plus button in the upper right corner, and choose submit from camera roll. Then you go into your recents and you find that video. Select it, hit the green check mark, and then the green check mark again, and it will say uploading media. Again, this may take a second depending on how long the video is. Shorter videos take less time to upload. When it's successful, it will say your submission has been added, and you should see that as a revision with a .mov file. Some videos may be too big, too long to upload directly to Schoology. In that instance, you will upload to Google Drive, change the sharing, and submit a link. To upload to Google Drive, you open your Drive app. If you are organizing into a particular folder, you will want to open that folder. Hit the plus button in the bottom right corner of the app window and tap Upload. Then choose Photos and Videos and find your file. Select it and hit Upload. It will say Processing Uploads. So then you'll want to go through and find that video when it says that it's been uploaded. It'll also give you a little Locate button. So there is my file that I've uploaded from my Photos app. Now I need to make sure that someone accessing this link can see it. So I would go into my three dots, I would choose share, and then I would tap on the double people at the bottom where it says manage access. And instead of restricted, I want to change that to Glenbard 87 can view. So these settings are what you're looking for. A quick tap of the link icon in the upper right corner will copy that link for you. You can also get that link by tapping on the three little dots in case you didn't get it the first time and just tapping copy link. Then what you would do is you would go into wherever you're going to submit. Maybe it's a Schoology discussion, maybe it's an assignment. You would create your submission or your post and you would paste your link and hit return. Then you would green check mark and then that link will show up for your instructor.